There are two complete Maya codices, the Dresden and the Madrid Codex. This is the Madrid Codex. It was created later than the Dresden. The pages appear sloppier, the characters more cartoonish, and it has great exaggeration of some conventions used in the Dresden. For instance, gods have long fingers in some sequences in the Dresden. The fingers are greatly exaggerated in the Madrid. This is page 28 of the Madrid Codex. Gods in the bottom row prominently display long fingers. Despite differences between the Dresden and Madrid, the Madrid hides the same alignments the Dresden conceals, and hides them well. The Madrid has more four-eye alignments because some pages, like this one, have four rows of characters. Characters in the bottom row are holding the glyph come Ku, which is the 18th month of the solar calendar. There are eight of these glyphs on the page, but only one clean alignment involving these glyphs. There are lots of feet displayed on the page, but our cursory search revealed only one clean foot alignment. In contrast, the page has eight eye alignments, some involving four eyes. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Note that four alignments go through this god's eye. The resulting form looks something like that on page 11 of the Dresden, so the same alignment conventions seem to apply. On most pages of the Madrid and the Dresden, however, there are combination lines, not lines that touch only eyes or lines that touch only feet. Here's page 84. There are many alignments on this page, but the only ones we'll show go through the eye of the black god in the top row. For combination alignments, we usually don't judge hands or feet to be aligned unless the line just touches a part without going through it. This alignment starts at the eye and touches the edge of two feet. The next alignment involves the same eye. The line goes through a glyph eye, another eye, a foot, and another glyph eye. The next alignment involves the same eye, two feet, and a glyph eye. The last alignment involves five points. The same eye, a foot, a hand, a foot, and a hand. We can't show anchor alignments because the pages we have are not paginated continuously as the Dresden is. However, this page is clearly linked to the preceding page, so we can show that there are two page alignments in the Madrid. Here are pages 83 and 84. There are five alignments that involve both pages. Notice that the black god in the top row poses across both pages. One alignment involves his right hand, his toe, an eye, and another toe. Another alignment involves his left hand, two eyes, and another hand. The next two page alignment starts at a toe, touches two hands, and goes through two eyes. Each of the last alignments connect three eyes. Eyes of the black gods in the top row, and eyes of gods in the bottom row. These are eye alignments, so they are probably anchor alignments. In the Dresden, all anchor alignments that we found were exclusive eye alignments. In summary, the Madrid seems to have the same types of alignments that the Dresden has. Before we end this part, we note that page 28 of the Madrid has six alignments that each go through a clearly drawn eye in a glyph. The arrows show the three glyphs involved in alignments. Here are the six lines. Three of them terminate in the same eye in the top row. The glyphs may provide some clues about the significance of these eye alignments. 
In the next part, we will discuss intentional mistakes in the pictures. Check out the Madrid Codex. See if you can find some alignments that link eyes, hands, and feet on page 82.